Oh hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Patho and Chill. Today, I'm going to be telling you the story of how COVID-19 spread in America and what would happen if you did it. So today's story starts off with this guy named Jim. Now, this takes place around January 2020 before COVID-19 had really even started in America. There were barely any cases here and it was just starting in China. And so this guy, Jim, he works for the Customs and Immigration at an airport in New York. And so he's in charge of checking everyone's passports as they come in. So one day, one of the, one of the passengers, he arrives and Jim just doing his job, you know, asks for the passport. So this guy, he reaches in and as he's pulling out his passport, uh, he starts coughing and he obviously coughs all over the passport. Jim, you know, he's not, not too worried about it. You know, the alarms weren't too high back then. He just takes it, scans it, gives it back to him. He was like, okay, that's kind of gross, but whatever. Day proceeds, Jim goes home, has dinner with his wife. And about a week, about a week goes on, Jim is perfectly fine. And then one day waking up to go to work, his wife just wakes up coughing having a pretty bad dry cough and then she says like her her soap is pretty her soap her sore her throat is pretty sore and so she blames it on the fact that the, the ac was kind of cold that night you know jim says you'll you'll probably be fine just take care of yourself today and, and no no worries goes on to work that day he comes back and she's telling him, she, he finds her in bed, you know, she says that she has, she's been having chills all day. She's been feeling like she's getting kind of a fever and she felt really tired, so a bunch of fatigue. And so then after that, Jim just tells her, okay, why don't we go to the doctor tomorrow? Maybe he can get you a flu test, see what's going on, maybe give you some medicines. So sure enough, the next day they, sh they wake up, go to the doctor first thing in the morning and you know, the doctor gives her a flu test, says that she'll, he'll get back to her the next couple days because they've been giving a lot of flu tests lately uh he says he's not gonna give her any medicine for now but you know just to stay in bed and see how it progresses a couple days go by she's feeling very nauseous every time she eats she wants to throw it up you know she's still very very tired he, her dry cough has just continued um one day she she goes to she goes to the bathroom right after having eaten and sure enough like she throws it all up she is not feeling good throws it up gets up and continues coughing, right? She goes and looks at herself in the mirror. She's coughing a lot, a bunch of dry cough until she, she just like looks down. She, she keeps coughing, looks down, and then she instantly screams. So she screams so loud and then Jim hears as he was downstairs, he runs upstairs and runs straight to the bathroom. And what he sees, he's like, I gotta call the doctor too. So as he's reaching for his phone, his phone actually starts ringing. He pulls it up and it's actually the doctor himself. So he's like, okay, let's let's hear it. let's find out what the heck is going on he picks up and he's like and the doctor's like oh hey jim you know how are you doing i was just calling to find out how pam is doing because her flu test came back negative so i was hoping she was doing a lot better now and jim just startled he was like okay no she is not fine i don't know what is happening she just coughed up blood and so the doctor is like okay well that is definitely not good like you're gonna have to bring her in and so right away you know they they go and take take pam into the doctor's office So basically, at this point, the virus had already entered Pam's lungs. And as it entered her lungs, it entered the cells. And so once it enters, it starts replicating. And as it leaves the cells, it starts destroying them. So this all, uh, this all activates the immune system. And as the immune system is activated, this is why she's getting symptoms such as fatigue, uh, chills, fever, and cough. So at this point, they finally arrive to the doctor's office and they're going crazy because Pam's lips are actually starting to turn blue. So right away, they're like, you know, what the heck is going on? And so after the doctor analyzes her, the symptoms and how they have progressed, he comes to the conclusion that she probably has pneumonia. And so at this point, Jim, Jim is like, okay, so what the heck does that mean? And so then the doctor explains, he's like, well, as the bacteria have probably gone into her lungs, they have continued growing and have caused an inflammation in their in her air sacs and so as they've become inflamed the fluid has actually filled up preventing oxygen from being delivered from the lungs to the blood which could explain why her lips were turning blue so at this point jim is like what now 
and the doctor's like, I'm just gonna prescribe her some antibacterials so that way it doesn't keep progressing because if it does, it could potentially lead to other organs uh, not receiving oxygen and going to organ failure. Surely enough, as the days went by, it's as, as if the doctor had predicted what, it, what was gonna happen to her exactly, yet he had not given her the proper treatment. Obviously, what she had was not a bacterial infection, so surely enough, she was not getting any better, and she actually ended up passing out because what happened, well, just what the doctor had said, she was not being able to get oxygen to all her organs throughout her body, so that led to multiple organ failure, which is exactly what COVID-19 is doing to, to patients right now. Jim had to call 911 and get the ambulance to rush over here so he could get her to the hospital as soon as possible. By the time that Pam was able to get to the hospital, they placed her on a mechanical ventilator, but at that point, it, it was too late. Too many weeks had gone by, she had multiple organ failure, and there was just really no treatment for this, because they were not, they had no idea what, what she was infected with. On top of that, this whole time, Jim had continued to go to work. Since he had got no symptoms, he, he was not aware that he was infected with anything, yet he was just in an asymptomatic version of the COVID-19 virus. And so he continued to go to work, giving this virus to a bunch of other people that progressively got just as sick as his wife did. And for this reason, many of the hospitals were just overwhelmed with patients. And so you can imagine why it was really difficult to save anyone. So as you can imagine, it was the combination of this overwhelm in the, in the hospitals of the United States on top of the varying symptoms that these patients were receiving that overall led to what is as of today like 85,000 deaths in the United States. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video where I try to make it a little more of a story to kind of show the progression of the symptoms of what would happen if you were to get COVID-19. Please make sure you drop a like and subscribe and take care. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.